Hi friends, welcome to Vic Vision Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about confirm method in JavaScript. So in a, one of my last video, I had explained you about alert method in JavaScript. So similar to that of alert method in JavaScript, we have something called as confirm method in JavaScript. Now let me just explain you. So what is confirm method and how we can use those things. So confirm method is nothing but about it is it is a type of confirmation message box. So which we are good giving to the user and based on that they will do the selection so the in in case of the confirmation message box so there will be a small pop up with one of the message like whatever the message we are going to do to the to the actual users and below that there will be two buttons like one is the okay button and the cancel button so and and based on that the user can can select either the okay or the cancel button based on uh, by reading the messages now like why we need this uh, confirmation message that sometimes like there will be a requirement that so like we just want to show some messages to the user and we need some of the response from the users like whether uh, they will agree with the decision or not like that so uh, let's say in in, in a case like uh, we just want to ask a few uh, like ask one question okay and based on that they will like they will reply that whether they will, they are satisfied with that condition or or whatever the message and there will be two sel two uh, selection like okay or cancel we we can't change those selection like okay and cancel so the okay value is the true i mean the written type of the okay is true and the written type of cancel is false like whatever the user select based on that we will get the results as the true or false so in the screen now i am going to show you with example that how we can use the confirm method and how we can get those values okay so i am going to show you with one of the sample like example so, so let me first use this confirm so in the screen you can see i have just used this confirm uh, method okay so this is this is very simple okay so so you just need to type the confirm and in 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 the uh, in the in the uh, method you just need to pass that that whatever the string you just want to pass it okay now let me go to the screen okay so if i if i reload this page then you can see a confirm message okay so this is our the pop up okay and you can see this message whatever i wrote i wrote in 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 the code like you can see here i wrote just press a button okay like if i change something else it automatically it will display the same thing now you can see here press a button and there will be like two buttons one is the okay and cancel okay so now now you can see here we we just uh, wrote the confirm uh, confirm message box now let me just find out that uh, whatever the uh, value we are getting whether we are getting the true or false okay so for that what i just did i just declared a uh, variable called as the result okay and this confirm uh, this confirm method i just reassigned those the to result so so the result is my variable so where i will get my result okay now let me use here alert and in that alert i will just pass the result value okay so whatever the value i will get whether i will get the true value or the false value so the same thing we will display with the alert message okay so let me just uh, refresh the screen so now you can see here uh, we we are we we got this button box now we got here the two buttons also now let me just press okay now you can see here we got the true because because i just selected the okay button but let's say if i select the cancel then automatically i will get here the false okay so 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 based on this we can get the value like whether it is true or false like in place of this uh, press a button okay i can give something else and i can i can ask some of the questions also and and based on that i will get some of the result and so based on that result we can manipulate all those things so what i can do here like so 
so let's say if if result is true then i, I can i can write some uh, code else i can i can write some other code also like you can see here this is for a true value and this is for the false value like whenever whenever the user click okay button the, so at that time then then here we will get the true value and here we are just checking a condition that if result value is true then automatically this code will execute okay and if it is false then automatically this part of code code will execute so so this is all about the confirm button and the main purpose of the confirm button is so so we are uh, asking for the user to to get some of the response like the response can be either in true or false value like we are asking some of the questions or some of the some of the things and based on that so they will they will send a response with the okay button or the cancel button and based on that we will get the result and automatically the rest of the code will execute based on that result like whether it is true or false all right so so the last thing so you can see here this confirm is there so now we can use this window dot confirm also so you can use this window dot confirm also but it it is like generally we don't use this window but if if we still want to use then that is also fine but we generally don't want to use but just for the knowledge purpose i am just sharing you that we can use this window this is all about our today's video like like where i had explained you how we can use this confirm method in the javascript thank you